This type of product didn't exist. It was an unrealized vision for many years. I was really excited to be able to work on something that was so complex and so sort of new within Amazon as well as new to world. It's taking science fiction and making it a reality. In one of the senior management meetings, we talked about, does anybody in the room think that in five, 10 years, you're not gonna have robots in your home? And everybody's like, yeah, we are. So we said, well, let's get started. So that's when we really started to get into a lot of the fun experiences around sort of inventing um, what the customer experience should be for a feature that was just a line on a piece of paper prior to that. We've pulled together technologies from all these different areas to build something that so many roboticists have been dreaming about or thinking about. The question wasn't, should we build it? But why wouldn't we? No, Astro can see, infer, hear, understand but then you add mobility on top of it. Astro is a robot that can go up to a meter per second. It has to detect walls. It has to detect challenging situations. This is going to be an autonomous device that's driving around your home. We had to make sure that there was a system that was always looking out and can stop Astro in a moment's notice. SLAM is simultaneous localization and mapping. This is a standard term used in robotics. It's an old problem. It's not a new problem. The, the complexity is immense. It's well known in the SLAM community that people will sort of say, we solved the math 20 years ago. We still haven't figured out how to do it. And this is a great example of how you've actually taken the math and deliver a truly impressive system. The robot has these cameras and it'll look around and it'll find points. And it's able to see if it recognizes where it is in this cloud of points in space. Astro is doing millions and millions of calculations every second. We have multiple neural networks running in parallel based on camera input. We have multiple planners in this thing figuring out what to do and how to tie it all together. And kind of the neat thing about it is it's all packaged up within one robot. Astro does SLAM really well. To be able to do it locally, do it so fast, map out the, the world so quickly. I'm, I'm really impressed. Navigating autonomously and, uh, you know, building a map of its own, I mean, that is incredible. We took inspiration from science fiction and movies and cartoons, places where people have looked into the future and thought about what could it look like to have something in the home to help you. We wanted to create a personality. Out of the top 100 robots that people love, only five of them didn't have eyes. It's effectively this universal symbol for communication, and we are able to communicate a lot of things that we otherwise wouldn't necessarily have been able to. Also, we got to really think about, you know, what should a robot sound like? Phonemes and motifs and, you know, creating chords. Most consumer electronic devices are just nuts and bolts. You turn it on, it plays a sound, that's it. Astro comes to life. This is our first robot, not our last robot. Uh, I, I think I'm excited to be able to launch Astro and share this with my friends and family and point to Astro and say, this is what I worked on. It's unlike anything I've ever done before. And the technology that we have built, I look at as foundational. Oh, Astro is a huge step forward. The next question will be, when can I get one? <laughs>